it was passed unanimously by the legislature. Uh, again, in general, based on not looking at the details, I am in favor of giving this additional financial support to the hospital. Uh, this, this focuses on, a res on, on res additional resources to pay for hospital obligations. Bill 19 makes no provision to pay off the GMH debt. It only provides funding for an urgent care center and ongoing hospital operations. That is of some concern for the governor, but he points out that the measure would also allow for payment of some ongoing hospital costs beyond the urgent care center. 60% would be allocated for an urgent health care center mm -hmm. and 40% for ongoing operations, but nothing about paying off the debt. Mm -hmm. And that, that is where we need to look on certain details. Uh, again, uh, there are certain areas such as Medicaid uh, matching, that would assist in, in paying for some of the bills that the hospital has incurred in terms of Medicaid services. There are other areas, uh, that, again, that you have mentioned, such as in operations, that may be able to be tied into uh, paying, prior, uh, paying vendor payables. We also spoke with Senator Dennis Rodriguez, who is off-island, but in a phone interview with PNC News, he maintained that the revised Bill 19 with his amendment does provide critical funding for two of the three funding needs that GMH has. He reiterated an argument he has made on a number of occasions, referring to the hospital's funding needs as a three-legged stool. One leg is the need to create an urgent care facility to cut costs at the emergency room where too many take advantage of high-cost care. Another leg is the ongoing hospital operations. Both of these needs are addressed by Bill 19, he said. The third leg of the stool, he said, is the debt, which he acknowledged is not addressed in Bill 19. But it is addressed in his Bill 132, which also passed the legislature on Monday and is awaiting action from the governor as well. Bill 132 would expand the borrowing ability of Guam Memorial Hospital by allowing the hospital to enter into revolving and direct loans. The debt of GMH as of March was about $18 million. Rodriguez also rejected any suggestion that the funding for the urgent health care center was aimed at benefiting Calvo Select Care, calling that suggestion absolutely false. And he pointed out that Bill 19 requires the GMHA Board of Trustees to develop a plan of action identifying a location for and the financing requirements needed by the urgent care center. And that plan must be submitted to the legislature, he said. Generally, I'm in favor of the intent of the legislation in terms of getting that money, uh, those resources to the hospital. Will you sign it into law? Again, I'm, I'm waiting to, for a, a review from my legal counsel, but I am I'm in general support and I'm leaning towards signing this legislation. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.